So yeah, today we're gonna be working on a really simple video. I'm working on this character model right now as a bunch of bones. I wanna add some spring bones onto here. So the first thing you do though is to actually download the actual add-on. And I recommend this website over here, this URL. I'll put this in the description below, so don't you worry about that. Once you get to this website though, to get the actual add-on, you can go to code, you can download zip, and they'll just download down there. Open folders. Um, for some organization's sake, I'll just name it Spring Bones. And I'll just paste it into this folder right over here. Nice and handy. Um, traditional add-ons require you to go to preferences and hit install. They'll take you here, go to downloads and find your Spring Bones. I already had one of these ones installed and click add-on. But for Spring Bones though, this one doesn't work for some reason and it's kind of a bit weird. So what we want to do though is to go to the download folder, unzip this folder. So I use using software called 7-zip and it's free, it's pretty handy. So I just use the 7-zip to extract everything into this plain folder. Into this folder, you can basically ignore everything here. The most important part though is the .py file right over here. So you want to copy that, Control c now, And now you want to find the program files for the Blender version that you're using. By default though, you can go to PC and it should be downloaded into something called local desk C. When you install Blender, there's a bunch of options to where to install it. So if you install it anywhere besides the default option, you can go there as well and you know where it is. So for me though, I'm using default location, go into C drive, go into program files, and you'll see something called Blender Foundations. Click on that, and if you multiple versions of the Blender, here would be different files. For me right now though, I'll be using Blender 3.1. So go into Blender 3.1. For me, if you're using Blender 3.2 or any future versions or any past versions, obviously click on that file instead. Click on whatever number version you're using again. And now you want to go to scripts, add-ons, and over here though you'll see all the other p.y um, files or, or .py files. So control V um, in the administration password and you can just paste down the spring bones add-on. Now it's about time, I think we should return back to that program. Open up Blender again, see what's happening. Go to Bones, you don't see anything. You go to Edit, we go Preferences, you don't see anything. That's all fine, you can close back Blender again and restart it. If you're working on a project, you can open your project back. Go to Edit, Preferences, and yeah, it's still nothing here, nothing's activated. But when you search as Spring Bones, um, the add on will be here. Hit tick, everything be good, and you will see a new tab on the side here called Spring Bones. And when you click the arrow, it goes up on the side. It's not functioning, what is happening, it's not working. Uh, you start panicking and you, just, you throw the chair out the window um, because that's how I felt the first time I did it. Um, but yeah, put it to the post mode. So click on armature, go to post mode, and only then does the um, so only then when you go to post mode does the Spring Bones actually work. So now if you actually click on Spring Bones inside the Bones icon, uh, Spring Bones, now it actually starts to work. So you can set this one as Spring, set this one as Spring, hit, um, start, and that will all work accordingly. So yeah, now you can see the bounces going from side to side, on the left and right to the left and right. So yeah, this is a very really simple video on how to install the add-on for Spring Bones. I tried finding one online previously because I was in trouble finding it. You usually just go to hit edit preferences and install and the zip file should just install and the add-on should be working. And when I even if I got this tab showing here, when I'm clicking it, it wouldn't work. Um so I was really confused on what's happening for first time user for this add-on. So yeah, a really simple video on how to get an add-on into Blender. Um because I think it's a bit outdated, it's a bit complicated. I really haven't touched Blender for one half year now, so this could be this common thing. But for anyone else confused out there, I thought I might as well post a video and hope it helps. Thank you.